Hey guys, if your iPhone battery started draining faster after updating to iOS 26.2, you're not alone. But the good news is, this is fixable. I'm going to walk you through the exact settings you should turn off or adjust to save battery on any iPhone running iOS 26.2. You don't need apps, and you don't need to reset your phone. Just follow along with me step by step. Let's start with the display, because this is the biggest battery drainer. First, dark mode. Make sure you're always using dark mode, especially if you're on an OLED iPhone like the Pro or Pro Max models. Dark mode uses less power because black pixels are basically off. Go to display and brightness and keep dark mode enabled all the time. Next, auto brightness. A lot of people turn this off, but that actually hurts battery life. Auto brightness is smarter than manual brightness. Go to accessibility, then display and text size. Scroll down and make sure auto brightness is turned on. This prevents your screen from staying brighter than it needs to be. Now reduce motion and reduce transparency. Head to accessibility, then motion, and turn on reduce motion. Go back, tap display and text size, and turn on reduce transparency. This cuts down animations and visual effects that constantly use power. Another underrated setting is white point reduction. Still in display and text size, turn on Reduce White Point and set it somewhere around 50 to 70%. This dims bright whites without making the screen unreadable, and it saves battery immediately. Now let's talk about screen wake features. Go to Display and Brightness and turn off Raise to Wake. Then go to Accessibility, Touch, and turn off Tap to Wake. These features wake your screen constantly when you don't even realize it, especially when the phone is in your pocket. All right, moving on to connectivity settings. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and personal hotspot should be turned off when you're not actively using them. Don't just turn them off from Control Center. Go into Settings and turn them off completely so they're not running in the background. Wi-Fi calling is actually a battery saver if you have strong Wi-Fi. Go to Settings, then scroll to Apps and click on Phone. Over here, Choose Wi-Fi calling and select a specific number and Wi-Fi calling on this iPhone. Choose Enable. For cellular data, always prefer Wi-Fi when possible. If you're at home or work and don't need mobile data, turning it off can make a noticeable difference, especially after the iOS 26.2 update. Now let's get into background activity, which is a huge reason for battery drain. Go to Settings, General, then Background App Refresh. Turn it off entirely or keep it on Wi-Fi only and disable it for most apps. Social media apps especially don't need to refresh constantly. Next, location services. Go to privacy and security, then location services. For most apps, set location access to while using the app or never. Also scroll down to system services and turn off location-based suggestions and analytics if you don't need them. Notifications are another silent battery killer. Every notification wakes your screen and runs processes. Go to Notifications and remove notifications for apps that aren't important. Fewer notifications mean fewer background wake-ups. Now Mail Settings. So go to Settings and scroll to Apps, then Find Mail. On this screen, choose Accounts, then Fetch New Data. Turn off Push and set Fetch to Hourly or Manually. Push email constantly checks servers and drains battery fast. Siri is next. Go to Apple Intelligence and Siri, then tap Talk and type to Siri and choose Off. This feature keeps the microphone active all the time, which uses power even when you're not using Siri. Haptic feedback also adds up. Go to Sounds and Haptics and turn off System Haptics. You'll still get alerts, but without the extra vibration motor usage. Now let's talk about smart habits. Low power mode is your best friend. Turn it on when your battery drops to around 30 or 40%. You can even automate this in the Shortcuts app so it turns on automatically. Widgets look nice, but too many of them update in the background. Remove unnecessary widgets from your home screen and today view. Keep only the ones you actually use. One important thing people do wrong is force quitting apps. Don't do it iOS is designed to manage memory efficiently, and force-closing apps can actually cause more battery drain when they reload. Finally, 
restart your iPhone once every few days, or power it off completely for a minute. After major updates like iOS 26.2, this helps clear background processes and improves battery stability. So yeah, if you follow these steps, you should see real battery improvement within a day. iOS 26.2 isn't bad for battery, but some settings need adjustment after the update. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more iPhone tips.